Hey guys, welcome to Semi2 Tech, the channel that brings you everything from product reviews, tech reviews, app reviews, all over the live streaming and live gaming and everything else in between. So if you like all that stuff and more, then stay tuned to this channel. But before we get started with this great new video, if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And once the subscribe button has been pressed, click on the bell next to it and select all. So you get all notifications when every time I drop a new video or go live. Also, don't forget to hit that like button right here and also share the video to all your social media platform. So nobody ever miss a thing from us. And also guys, remember I do have a website you can check out. Come over here, go to semi2.tech and I'll bring you right here to this page. Look at this great layout of webpage. Just for you guys, you can do so much stuff here. Come and check it out. All right, guys, thanks for coming back. I do appreciate all the love and support that you guys show the channel. Remember, when I continue supporting the channel, all you gotta do is like all my videos, share my videos, comment all my videos, and if you still haven't done so, hit that subscribe button and enable bell notification so you get notified every time I drop great videos like this one or whenever I go live. Cause trust me guys, you never ever wanna miss a thing. All right guys, so today we're gonna be doing unboxing and installed of a great product I came across. It's a product that I needed for my Honda S2000. You guys know I got that from my brother since he passed. That was something I'm keeping for myself as a memory of him. So I'm doing a little free upgrades to the car, you know, fixing some things, making more drivable, usable than how my brother had it. Um, he, he got, he was working on it and then some stuff he didn't complete or some just stuff that just went bad. Um, so I'm working little by little on getting that fixed. It is an expensive as hobby guys. When I say it's expensive, I don't know what's more expensive, my tech hobby or my car hobby. I don't know which one but they're pretty much the same but i've i think i've spent more on cars before but this is way before than my computer but if you compare now to when i started my computer i've spent so much more on my computer than i did on my car stuff because i really stopped working on cars a long time ago ever since i got into a motorcycle accident in 2008 i really just stopped working on cars a lot overall so what i'm gonna do is show you a product i got it's uh camera for re for your uh, reverse mirror you know the mirrors on the on the top they go right here to look back yeah i would normally use that i had a it, it has a gray mirror on there my brother got the extended mirror on there but here's the problem with that mirror hence hence convertible the s 2000s are convertible the glass is very foggy and to replace that is too expensive you're you might as well just replace the whole covering and that's already expensive as hell. We're talking about like two grand, two to three grand, just to replace the whole the convertible part of it. And then he didn't want to replace it. So what he did, he put a hard top, which is awesome, which is great. I prefer the hard top on there, which is removable. But now the hard top came to the same thing. You can't see through the back window. It's just like a, I said, pexy glass, but it's so faded. That you can't see through it. You can see a little bit through. You can see like if there's lights. You can see lights, so you can tell what cars at. If it wasn't for the side mirrors, I won't be able to see back. But it is a pain in the butt when I'm trying to park backwards or look back for traffic behind me. It's hard to see. So after doing some exciting research, I was able to find this tool. Well, actually, it was found on TikTok. Uh, one of the car TikToks trends out there on there. Uh, this girl has actually she had a 350Z. And she had this thing on the back of her car that she it's hard for her to see through her back window. So she came across and showed me this re re mirror that is actually, this thing right here is actually a screen. So you could, it's a dash cam. It could go in half. So this side will be a dash cam and this will be your reverse. So it can record the front of you and the back of you, which is awesome. And the, and the camera is on the back of the mirror right here for the dash cam. But then you have to run a camera all the way to your license plate to do the reverse cam, which is awesome. It's not bad, but all this is in here. This records and everything. So it has a built-in SD card, micro SD reader. And with, when you buy this, they actually include a 32 gigabyte one for you. I'm probably going to upgrade it to the maximum it allows me to, um, and attach it and use it. So this is called the drive sim smart mirror dash cam with a detachable front camera so you you don't have to use the dash cam if you don't want to and it has 
uh, upgraded smart digital re rear view mirror. So this is right here. This is the rear view mirror. And I believe you can still use it as a regular rear view mirror or just a camera. I'm not sure. So we're going to open it up and show you what this comes inside. And then after I show you everything that's going to come inside, I'm going to go ahead and install it on the car. I'm not going to show you the whole process of installing and everything like that because that make the video way too long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how what comes inside here. After I show you I'm going to come inside here, I'll install it on the S2000. Once everything's installed and everything, I might show clips of me installing it here and there, but most likely not. And then I'm just going to show you that after everything is installed and how it works because this will take a while to install. That's why I said it's gonna be too long because I have to take off panels, run wires. I gotta run the camera to the back. I gotta run the power wire. I gotta connect a power wire thing. It, it's gonna take a while. It's gonna take me at least a few hours, maybe a couple of days, depending what how much time I have. So let's go ahead and switch over and show you what comes inside this box, all right? As you see, it's already loaded in the back of me. So we're gonna go ahead and change screens now. And boom, I got you right here. So when you first get this, as you see, it gives you the thing right here, the whole mirror, the display, what it is here. Uh, it gives you all the information here. On the side, it gives you the same information, just letters. On the both edges, nothing. So nothing on this. On the back, it gives you the same thing to give you in the front without the picture of the of the mirror there. And on top, same thing to give you on the bottom, same information. All right, let's go and open this up now. So it comes out with this little cardboard thing right here. Not much. Oop. All right. So when you, it comes in this white box here, and all you gotta do is open it like this. Oh, right. Open it upside down. All right. You open it right there. All right. So on top, it gives you this little thing. It's like a, a screen protector, so you can put on the mirror if you want to use it or not. This is awesome. I most likely will use it. I hope it's an anti glare. So when there is actually sun. It glares the sun away, so that'd be awesome if it does that. But we'll find out. All right, so when you first open this up, you get the mirror right there. This is all this is, is right here. So this attaches actually to your stock mirror, your rear mirror. It installed straps. It has some straps here that you put it on, then you put the straps on, and it keeps it tight there so it doesn't move or anything. So perfect. All right. So, and if you look on the front, it has a little plastic piece here that tells you what inputs and what it does. Please be careful not to mistake the interface, which is right here, the front and rear camera. All right, because so there's two, and if you look down here, here's the power cable right here. Here's the SD card right here. And then here has a, a built-in GPS that you can in, uh, plug in your GPS, you plug in on the corner of your front windshield, and then it tells you where you are, direction, so that's awesome, that's GPS. And these are the two camera inputs right here. So this one's for the audio one is for the front, I believe. No. So the number one is for the rear rear mirror. So the real camera. And two is for the dash cam that actually attaches right here, the camera, and then you just plug it in right there. And then that you can record what's in front of you. All right. And you actually and here you can actually divide the screen in half so you can see what's in front of you and what's in back of you. All right, so that, that kind of works in his way but i'm not gonna use i'm not gonna be recording well not recording but i'm not gonna be using half of it for the front and then half of it for the back no i'm just gonna use it all for the back but i'm gonna i'm gonna see if it still records the front even though i'm not seeing it on here so let's pray for that all right so this is the mirror here i'm gonna put that to the side because we don't need that and then here are all the components Take that out, and then this is the box here. There you go, right there. So these are all the wires. As you can see, there's a lot of wires here I gotta make sure of. So here, right here, this is the real, real camera. As you see, the wire is very long, and it runs a lot, right here. Look at all this. This is the real, real camera right here. So it's a long wire, because it tells you, takes it all the way from the front of the car to the back. So, and, and you need to have a power source for it. So it's not a big deal. I got a power source for it and what to use for it. So there you go, guys. I'm not gonna untangle all this, but the good thing I like about it, the camera, you can detach it anytime because that's a plug right here. And when you when you run the wire, you're already ready to install it. You plug it back in and you'll be all set. I'm gonna make sure I put it in correctly. 
and that's it simple as that guys look how simple that is right there so this is the rear, rear camera i gotta mess with it and make it adjustable all right so that's this part here i'm gonna put this back in here so i don't miss anything all right and they do sell brackets if you want to you can attach it to your license plate frame so it makes it easier if you want to use it that's if you you have to buy that separate i don't think they attach it here all right so these are the straps right here that i talked about that goes right here so basically you take the strap put it here and then it goes over your existing mirror so you don't have to remove your old mirror so that's a good thing as you know the the mirror on the s2000 is actually attached to the front windshield so it's not gonna because it has no roof because it's a convertible it's not gonna be attached to the ceiling like most cars is and this one's attached to the window like it was back in the days so that's good that they have that i don't have to mess around with that settings or anything all right here this is the dash cam camera so you put this mirror, you can put it like it has it on the picture. You can touch it back here. You can touch this part right here. Or you can touch it somewhere on your dash if you want. Because it gives a pretty lengthy wire. So that's pretty good. So this wire is pretty lengthy. Doesn't require its own power source. So that's a great thing. But it's pretty lengthy. You can use it. And you can touch this anywhere you want. If I could, I would attach this to my front bumper. That would be awesome if I could do that. But we'll see. We never know what's going to happen. So we'll see how this works. All right. So we're going to put this back in here. Then you got this wire here. This is your power supply. This requires power. Yes. So this ready to take to the cigarette lighter thing. What I'm going to do instead of putting this on my cigarette lighter. Because if you guys don't know on the S2000. The cigarette lies on the on the side of the chair, on the front chair on the side, and back here. So it's a pretty long way from the rear, rear mirror. So we're gonna go ahead and attach it. I'm, I'm gonna create an input underneath the dash that I can plug this in, and don't worry about it. It won't be too far, either, and I can still keep my cigarette light on the side so I can plug in my phone or whatever. Because you guys know on the S2000 is only one cigarette lighter port, so and I can use that for anything I want. So we got the power supply here, and this right here. You guys remember I said this has GPS. This is your GPS antenna. Don't know exactly how this works for the GPS. Because I guess it records your movement of where you've been and everything. In case your car is stolen or something. And you could you could track on your phone or something. I'll look into more in this. But this is GPS. You can plug this anywhere you want. I'm Like I said, I'm going to plug it on the bottom left corner, driver's side corner of the car. That's the most open area that I'm not really going to be using. And then here, they actually provide you this cloth right here to clean the glass every time it gets dirty, if you touch or anything, because it's like any phone screen, everything and nice and requires this nice little cloth right here to clean it. And of course, it also comes with this manual here. You can read through the whole manual, tells you how it looks, how it works, and all the functions on here. You can zoom in and out, which is awesome. One thing I do like about this mirror that I do not have in the car, which sucks, is it has a clock because the clock on the on the s2000 is on the radio but the cover for the radio i keep it closed all the time because i keep i have a little keychain that goes that has my brother's ashes i would put it on my keychain but i don't want it to get scratched so i have it in the compartment for the radio so that's the reason why i always keep that compartment closed i don't want to lose that little my brother's ashes in there so i keep it like that so at least my brother's with his car all the time. So that's the reason why I do that like that. And all this is all touch, uh, touch screen function. So you can record, you can zoom in and out. You can take pictures of certain things. Um, you can lock the screen if you want so it, it won't be touchable. You can unlock it. It has a lot of functions. You can read through all this here, guys. And it gives you everything you need to know. So now we did the unboxing here, guys. So now I'm going to go ahead and install it on the car. After I finish this story, I'm gonna show you how everything works and how cool it is. All right, so let's go ahead and do that now. All right, guys, so I just unboxed it, so I wanted to show you how it looks on the car. So this is the car I'm working with. This is my S2000, all right? All right, so as you see, there's a small entry in here. So if I open up the, the car, you look in the back, you, can, you can't even see outside through that back windshield. So that's the main reason why I got it, because 
it's very hard to replace these and very expensive so instead of spending uh, over a thousand dollars and replacing that back windshield I might as well spend a couple hundred bucks and get the whole kit and everything so that's why I got that so this is how it looks inside the car doesn't look at you see just very few wires i ran it up here down here and i connected the power down here as you see you see no power no wires hanging or anything it looks clean uh, excuse the mess in the car i haven't had time to wash it and then the back camera i ran it through here all the way to the back so if you look in the back you're gonna see the camera right there see the camera right there and that's how it, that's how it looks so it's very unsuspicious like or anything for the car so let's take a look and see how it looks inside sorry about that guys that's my club talking <laughs> so see even when it's off you can still use it as a rear, rear, rear mirror I see the reflection is really good it works great but let's see how it is when you turn it on. Let's see if it turns on. If it has power. Okay. Look at the quality in that video. Look at it. I can see my whole back with no issues. I can see top to bottom, left to right. I have a wide angle view. So this is awesome, guys. I think this is a great buy. Even if even if you don't have a bad back windshield like I do, it's a still good buy for a reverse camera. Look how clear. That's 1080p. And you can go up to 1440 if you want. I put it at 1080 just because it works. And a couple of features I did want to show you here, guys. So this is the view right now. If I click on it, I can switch the view to my front. This is the front winch. This is coming out of the camera right here. I put the camera right here. Just so you can see what I'm talking about. That's the camera right there. I put it there. And the quality on it, it looks really good. As you see, it's all touchscreen boom see the quality is real good so this is recording the front and back at the same time so this keeps recording until it loop until it gets full on the disc and once it's, it's full it overrides the original one and the reason for that guy is because you, you're only gonna need it in case something happens instantly something happens give it a few more seconds and then stop it and then pull out the sim card which one well, not the sim card that is sd card which is right up here all right so this is for the front camera this is the GPS, this is the back camera, and this is the power supply. And that's, that's the GPS box right there. I don't know if you can see it. So if you don't know what the GPS is gonna do, it doesn't give you direction, but it gives you the direction that you're going and the speed limit. So that's the reason for the GPS signal. So it tells me I'm, I'm southwest this way, and I'm going zero miles an hour because I'm not moving anywhere. So that's a good thing. So as I see, this is the old touch screen. And if I want to adjust the camera, look, I can adjust it there. So if, I, if everything is too low, I can just bring it up and boom. There you go. I can bring it up again and see how cool that is. So it's a wide angle camera, top to bottom and left to right. If I go left and right, it doesn't do anything. That's just for the brightness. But if I want to go adjust the camera up and down, if I think it's doing bad, just go there and adjust it there, which is awesome. So I can adjust it to eye level. So. I think that's pretty cool. Now, when I just uh, when I just the uh, brightness, you can do it from up here. I don't know. I can do it right there. It usually pops up for me. But as you see here, you go to settings. I can show you. I go to settings here, and you get just a bunch of settings here if you want. All right, you just mess around with it the way you want it to be. All right. Um, if you want to start recording, click on this button. But automatically starts recording. If you want to stay, take a still picture for some reason, you click on it and you click on this one right here, and that takes a clear picture. And I, I don't know if you heard it, you heard the, the, click, the shuddering sound, the shutter, there you go. Um, here it just tells you the battery level, um, it tells you that uh, there's a SD card installed, there's a microphone in here, and it's doing one view, and it tells you that you have a live GPS signal. All right, I showed you the front and the back. Let's say you want to watch both screens. You click on it, click on this view right here. You see you get the front and click it again. You get both views. You get the back and you get the front. So it will record both screens at the same time like that if you want to like that. 
All right. As far as keeping it steady like this on the whole time, it doesn't stay on the whole time after you have um, intervals of one, two, or three minutes of shutting off. That's the maximum of three minutes. You can put it for one minute recording or two minutes recording. I mean, not recording, like, all like that, but it automatically turns off because it still uses the reflection of the screen as a regular rear view mirror. So if you need it at any time, just click on it. Let's say I shut it off. It'll go off like that, right? You can still use it as a reflection. As you see, you can see my reflection just fine. No problem, no issue. But they say, and I can use it like that. But if I want to keep using it, I'll have to just click on the screen like that and let it ride. And that's it. Because remember, this is really considered as a dash cam and a reverse camera. That's what this really is for. So you could you do you use it as you need to. Alright? So so let's get back to my computer and give my final thoughts on this. All right, guys, so we're back here at my computer. Like I said, we just finished installing everything. Well, I finished installing everything. You didn't see me install it because I didn't want to bore you. I ran into some issues while installing it. And so I had to get around that. I got all that. You saw it. It was installed. It looked good. It was the Dry Slim Smart Mirror Dash Cam with the detachable front camera. That's what that it is. It's awesome. You saw how it worked. It had the front camera. Uh, the back camera, I could see both of them at the same time, or I could just see the front one, or I could just see the back one. It looked awesome. Crispy, crispy, clear. All right, so I'm very happy with it. The only downside that I have in this camera, because I had to wait a couple of days for me to actually try it out and everything. When driving at night, it's a lot It's a lot harder to see, to use that, the camera, to use the camera as a, like a, 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 a permanently, rear view mirror because it will not work you have to use the the non one on there you know when it's off you can still see the back you have to use that one because when you try to use the camera the headlights are are very bright on the camera so it's not that good to see as when you're driving and you want to see the rear view you can still see your rear view during the day perfect everything looks perfect nothing nothing bad by nighttime when the headlights are on it really means you barely see anything well, you can see everything outside, but you can't see the car itself. You see just headlights. Like, it's not even, you don't even see headlights, headlights. You see like a flash of light. It's it's not as good as you think it will be at night, but during the day, it works perfect. I would recommend this. By night, use the regular mirror, have it off, and just use it and just have it used when you're reversing. That's about it. Because it does look good when you're reversing to a parking spot. It looks awesome guys when i say awesome it looks off awesome. at nighttime it looks awesome except when the lights are flashing on it but that's it but remember this is the dry slim smart mirror dash cam with detachable front camera it looks like this and everything worked perfect guys you saw all this function that i had right here it did have on on the camera there so i'm very happy with this buy uh if you guys would do want to get it, i'll leave a link down below to the amazon where you can get it if you do want to get it, the price tag on this is $169. But I did get it on sale. It, they had a $45% uh, $45 off at the time I bought it. So I did buy it for like $125, something like that. So I did get a very good deal on it when I bought it. So I was happy with it. I, I got it at the right time. It was during Christmas time. It was on sale, I guess, with the whole Christmas sale. So if you do want to get it right now, if you want to spend the money, it is $169. They might have deals still going on when you look at it. Try it out. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me tell you how to today. If you did, go ahead and give me a big old thumbs up. Show me all the love and support that you guys love to show the channel. Also, don't forget to hit that share button because sharing is caring. And we want to make sure everybody's aware of everything we talk about on this channel so they don't miss a thing just like you don't miss a thing. And... If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, put them in the comment box down below. I'll get to you as soon as I can, when I can, as fast as I can. And if you still haven't done so to the end of this video, guys, make sure you hit the subscribe button and a bell notification so you get notified every time we drop great videos like this time or whenever we go live. Because trust me, guys, you never ever want to miss a thing. And that's it for today, guys. Until next time, this is Junior, aka Semi, signing out from Semi to Tech. Peace.